Is Linux Mint finally ready for Wayland? Or are we about to trade stability for a shiny future? Today, we cut through the hype and test what Cinnamon 6.6 actually brings to the table. Usability, performance, hardware quirks, and whether you should switch right now. Quick roadmap. First, what changed in Cinnamon 6.6? Then, real-world behavior on Wayland, apps, drivers, and performance. Finally, practical advice. Who should try it today, and who should wait? Why Wayland matters. Wayland is the modern display protocol designed to replace the old X11 model. It promises smoother compositing, fewer tearing problems, better per-monitor scaling, and improved security, because clients don't get direct access to the compositor. That's why many major desktop projects pivoted to Wayland over the last few years. The potential gains are real, especially on modern hardware. Where Linux Mint stands historically. Linux Mint has always prioritized stability and polish over being the first to ship new plumbing. That cautious approach meant Mint lagged some distros in Wayland adoption, but recent Cinnamon updates explicitly pushed the desktop closer to Wayland readiness, while keeping the X11 session as a rock-solid fallback. What's new in Cinnamon 6.6? Cinnamon 6.6 .6 is an iterative, user-visible update, redesigned application menu, input keyboard improvements, and UI polish that sets the stage for the next Mint point release. The team explicitly scoped a number of changes to make Cinnamon friendlier when run under Wayland, not just X11. Real-world usability, apps and session basics. From the sources and community testing we reviewed, many core apps, browsers, office suites, media players, launch fine under a Cinnamon Wayland session. But it's not always a flip the switch and forget situation. Some GNOME KDE Wayland builds have reached near parity with X11 for day-to-day -day tasks. But Cinnamon's Wayland support is still early stage and occasionally missing small but important features. Key practical notes. You'll likely see the Wayland option at the login screen if Cinnamon on your Mint build exposes it. Expect X Wayland to handle legacy X11 apps. It's good, but sometimes introduces quirks. Performance, expectations versus reality. Benchmarks across desktops show mixed results. In many cases, Wayland matches or outperforms X11, especially with modern AM, Intel GPUs, and current compositors. Some websites and other bench tests demonstrate Wayland's gains in some gaming and desktop scenarios, but the outcome depends strongly on drivers, compositor maturity, and whether apps use native Wayland paths or X Wayland. Translate that into day-to-day. -day. Desktop animations, scrolling, and window transitions feel smoother on many Wayland setups. Full-screen games can be similar or better on Wayland, but results vary game-to-game -game and GPU-to-GPU. -GPU. Hardware and driver landmines. NVIDIA has historically been the trickiest vendor for Wayland. While the landscape improved and NVIDIA has been working on GBM Wayland support, users still report crashes, freezes, and glitches on certain driver versions and laptops with hybrid graphics. Community threads and developer forums show real examples of bugs that affect scrolling, terminal rendering, and even occasional render halts under Wayland with NVIDIA drivers. For AMD and Intel integrated GPUs, Wayland is generally the safer bet today. For NVIDIA proprietary driver users, extra caution and testing is strongly recommended. Known Cinnamon Wayland specific rough edges. Community reports show Cinnamon's Wayland session can still drop or misconfigure small but important features. Keyboard compose mapping regressions, panel or applet breakage on some systems, and inconsistencies with screen locking or fractional scaling in edge cases. These are not universal, but they're the kind of usability dents that make a day to day session feel unfinished for some users. X Wayland, the compatibility bridge. X Wayland lets legacy X11 apps run on a Wayland session. It's a great compatibility layer, but it's not a magical fix. 
some apps behave slightly differently, and things like screen recording, overlay apps, or advanced window manager tricks may require extra work. What this means for Mint's roadmap and users. Short term, next few releases. Expect incremental improvements. More Wayland-friendly applets and UI polish in Cinnamon. Broader Wayland testing across Mint ISOs and continued emphasis on keeping X11 as a safe default in cases where hardware or workflows require it. The Mint team has been cautious but deliberate about rolling out Wayland functionality. Who should try Wayland on Mint today? Enthusiasts, testers, and users with AMD Intel GPUs who can handle occasional troubleshooting. Those who value smoother scaling, security isolation, and want to help report bugs. Who should wait? Users with mission-critical workflows that depend on particular X11 quirks, complex multi-monitor GPU setups, or NVIDIA proprietary drivers. Keep X11 until your hardware and apps are proven on Wayland. Clear, practical checklist before switching. 1. Back up your data and make a restore point. 2. Update drivers in Cinnamon to the latest stable packages. 3. Test Wayland in a live session or secondary user account. 4. Try your everyday apps, screen sharing, recording, and any GPU-heavy tasks. 5. If you see regression, switch back to X11 and log a detailed bug report. Roadmap predictions and conclusion. Will Mint become a Wayland-first distro? Likely yes, but not overnight. Expect Mint to follow a cautious, user-first cadence. Bake Wayland-specific fixes into Cinnamon, stabilize the ecosystem, then promote Wayland as a recommended option. For now, Wayland on Cinnamon 6.6 .6 is promising and getting better, but it's still a transitional stage rather than a finished, drop-in replacement for everyone. If you liked this deep dive, hit subscribe. I'm planning hands-on tests across Intel, AMD, and NVIDIA hardware, so you can see concrete before-after performance and bug examples. Drop your hardware in the comments and I'll prioritize testing the most common setups.